So we wanted to introduce you to a, a custom kit product we uh, put together here for you guys. It's uh, what we call a problem solver. Probably long overdue. Not extremely complicated, extremely easy install and uh, affordable we'd like to think. Now this is for the Kohler K-Series and Kohler Magnum and actually a lot of other brand tractors that would work on except our custom made block off plates and gaskets and stuff are, are set up here for a, a Kohler uh, K-Series or Magnum. Uh, to replace your fuel pump the Kohler OEM pumps are outrageously priced if you can find them getting very very hard to find uh, I've seen prices anywhere from $150 to $350 uh, the average is probably somewhere in the middle for a simple fuel pump on a small engine uh, this is a, for your Kohler K's your Magnums your 8 10 12 14 16 horsepower and uh, this will work like I said on, on, on many Briggs and Stratton's and Onans and a bunch of other stuff too, just that the uh, block off plate and custom gasket in this particular kit we're offering is for the Kohler. We have Onan kits getting product produced right now and it uh, will be available for that. Let's talk a little bit about aftermarket pumps out there. There's a ton of them and we have tried probably everyone out there from your generic Chinese eight, uh, eBay, Amazon ones that are literally last minutes if you're lucky to ones that are from very high reputable uh, aftermarket suppliers and manufacturers and they don't do much better just we're not against aftermarket parts we if, if they work out if they provide a, a, a reasonable affordable alternative for our customers then we're all about them and offering them unfortunately we have not been able to find anything that works whether you spend you know the 15 20 dollar cheap one or you go and spend 150 dollars on a, a, another aftermarket kit that literally lasts minutes, uh, you know, hours if you're lucky. Some of them don't even last, they, they fail right off the bat. And actually part of them can break and go into your engine and, and cause serious damage. So in our kit we're going to give you uh, two long lengths of uh, quality fuel hose. Uh, you're going to get four hose clamps, two washers, a custom kit plate with a brass threaded nipple into the plate. There's no nut on the back, it's not a, not a bulkhead fitting. So this way there's nothing on the back of that, that that can fall into your engine, do any damage to your engine. A uh, high quality USA made gasket. This gasket's made by a small business guy working out of his uh, garage shop at home. And the block off plate we're also getting made by a veteran owned business making this plate for us. So we're glad to help these people out and have them help us out. And we try to support uh, the small businesses and veterans as much as we can in the military as you guys know. Getting two uh, screws and also two self-tapping, uh, self-drilling tech screws, depending on where your location is and how you want to mount it, that gives you an option. Some tractors have uh, some bolt holes already uh, tapped on the uh, flywheel shroud housing or other parts of your engine that you can use the uh, standard threaded screws or you can use the self-drilling, self-tapping screws to mount it of uh, your, your choice, your location. This is a high quality uh, pulse pump that we're, we're sourcing here this is not a, a, a cheap one or a generic one this is an OEM branded pump that's uh, very well known and been used by many many manufacturers other style of machines Kohler actually use pulse pumps on many of their engines too um, so this is nothing nothing different nothing special as far as you know having to change anything on your carburation or your tractor so the install is pretty basic I'm gonna connect our black off plate to where your fuel pump originally from the factory was using the same screws and screw holes and uh, put the block off plate with the fitting in place of your OEM fuel pump then you find a suitable location to mount the fuel pump we like to put it on a lot of the blower housings ideally you know if you have a similar height of your fuel tank or your similar height to where your original factory pump is that's fine but you can put it much higher you can put it much lower it'll still function we just like to kind of keep it close to the carburetor, close to the vacuum source. It's kind of an easy and, and clean install by putting it here, but we've had, had them mounted on frames, mounted on the dash tower, mounted up top of the engine, of course, on the firewall. Again, you can put it where you want. We provide a fair amount of extra length to the, to the fuel hose, but if you're going to go uh, you know, quite a bit farther away from this general location, then you may need to add fuel hose length and vacuum hose length. So the way it's set up in our photos here, the center fitting coming from the center of the pump is your vacuum pulse port and then the one on the bottom is your inline coming from your fuel tank always have that filtered before you get to the pump the pumps will last much longer 
then the highest fitting is the way this is positioned is going out to your carburetor. We recommend using our screw clamps, clamps we provide. The cheap spring clamps don't seal right and uh, you can lose a little bit of suction or, or pulse from, from the crankcase and also you can either suck air or, or lose fuel uh, not having the correct clamps on the other lines. We provide nice uh, black painted hardware so it's just a nice clean look. You have some stainless steel washers. Uh, when installing the pump it's plastic, do not forget that so you do not need to over tighten it. Uh, as far as putting our block off plate and uh, the gasket there, you can use a gasket sealer if you want, not necessary because it's really not much uh, liquid or, or pressure behind it that's going to push past that paper gasket, but that's up to you. Basically for the mid-range price of a, a unfortunately garbage aftermarket replacement, you can buy this kit though. So again, for, for a fraction of the cost of an OEM one if you can find it, this is a long lasting simple install and a solution that we use here all the time and wanted to offer for sale for you guys. Again, it doesn't have to go just on casing or salt tractors, it could go on John Deere's and Cub Cadets and Wheel Horses and Simplicities and Alice Chalmers and Craftsman and Husqvarna and, and on and on and on. Um, basically anything that had a Kohler K series or a Magnum series engine and uh, probably a few others that this plate will actually bolt right up to uh, the spacing of the holes and the pump will supply uh, ample fuel I would say probably up to 23 horsepower or so somewhere in there would be my guess maybe more so just a quick video it doesn't really warrant a full install video because it's very very simple literally you know five ten minutes and, and this this project's done your tractors back up and running uh, the, the hardest thing is picking a location where you want to mount the pump and uh, bolting it up obviously this kit can be found out our Website caseingersaltractors.com. That's caseingersaltractors with an S.com. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, shoot us an email or a message on Facebook or a message on our website where we have got tons of other custom kits and OEM parts and aftermarket parts there that we're uh, adding new parts daily and can get just about any Casinger Salt part you need as well as Briggs and Strat and Kohler and Onan. We appreciate you guys watching and support. And remember, if man built it, man can fix it.